Okay, this is my setup. I've got to apologize for the chickens and the noise in the background. This is my bucket. I've got two inflations right here. They have a plug that goes in the end, so when I'm running the pump, um, I don't lose my vacuum. It plugs it up nice. This is the pulsator. The little things pulsate back and forth. There is a vacuum tube, and then here's where the milk comes in. This is set up for a cow, so this just goes from here to here to um, kind of close that off. The pulsator sits on the lid. Let me disconnect all this. So you can see how this goes together. Everything disconnects off the back. The pulsator sits on a little valve right here. And that's the inside of the bucket with the rubber gasket. It hooks to a line that goes to an air accumulator, which is just a PVC pipe with a hose attachment on the end. And that goes all the way over to my pump, which is just an auto vacuum pump. I've got the vacuum gauge on it, and then i got an air regulator so I can maintain it at about 12 PSI because um, any more than that will damage the udder. So I judge how much air comes out. Um, this is just heat tape because it gets cold in the winter and the oil gets slug, really sludgy-like. So my heat tape keeps it warm and I cover it up to uh, maintain heat. And my next video I'll turn it on so you can see how it works. There's the pump running. Here's the pulsator pulsating. Sometimes it takes a while to get going. But you can see it pulsating back and forth. Now here's the goat. This is the basics of how you do it. Here's the nut. Find a key. And on it goes. Kind of hard to do one handed. So we'll try this again so you can see. You don't want to wait too long because you lose you lose vacuum. And that's pretty much it. You can then see if you've got a clear line, the milk going through. And I don't know if you can see it or not. But yeah, yeah. You can see it. The milk's going through there. So that's pretty much it. I did forget to mention that you want to set your pulsator about 60 pulsations per second so you can adjust this little knob right here. And that'll increase it or decrease it. So you can get a stopwatch and time that. Keep this close to keep dust and debris out of it. And then the vacuum gauge, you want that around 12 PSI. Jumping around. But, you, know, you can see she's almost done. I'm going to take this off, and again, I'll try and do it one-handed without losing my vacuum. Got it? And she's still got a little bit of milk in here, so don't forget to strip out that extra milk um, and strip her out completely. This is a different goat being milk now, um, but what I forgot to mention is you want to wash the udder first um, and strip out a few strains to look for any signs of mastitis or clumping or anything funny. Then when you're all done, you want to use some type of product that will sanitize the teat afterwards. You just spray it on the tip of the teat when you're done, and that sanitizes the teat and protects against mastitis. Being clean is really important um, and your, for your animal's health.